Hey guys, my name is Darkwater Killer, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. In this episode of my data pack tutorial series, I will be showing you how to load your data pack and how to create custom crafting recipes. Okay, so I'm in my data pack world now. Um, this is the world that we created in the last episode when setting up the blank data pack. Um, and the first thing after you create a data pack um, is to load that data pack into the world. So most of the time it's done automatically by the game when you load the world with the data pack in it. However, if you're having troubles getting your pack to work, you should just always check to make sure that the pack is enabled. And to check to see what packs are enabled and what packs aren't enabled, you just type the command data pack list and it shows that we've got two data packs enabled, the vanilla default data pack, that is just all the default recipes in the game, um, and it's just everything that is in the base game, it's nothing, you can't really change it, and then we also have the data pack that we created in the last episode, my data pack, and so because that is enabled, any tweaks that we add, be it crafting recipes, furnace recipes, loot tables, Anything that we add into that data pack is now loaded. Of course, we created a blank data pack last episode, so there's actually nothing in this. But we will be creating um, two recipes today, um, one shapeless and one shaped, just to um, show how to do that as well as how recipes work in data packs. Okay. So now that we enabled our data pack, we need to create some content for the pack to add to the game. We will do this by creating two recipes, one shaped, one shapeless. We'll start with the shapeless recipe that creates golden apples just by crafting one apple with one gold ingot. As you can see right now, um, it doesn't work. If the recipe does work, you would see it right here. That's because we actually haven't created the recipe yet. So what we have to do is we have to go over and use something like an editor to make a file. Um, I'll be using Notepad++ and uh, let's just head over there. So here we are in Notepad++ and so what we need to make is a file that the game reads as a shapeless recipe. Um, we do this by creating a JSON file, which is just a file formatted in a special way so people can easily read them, but also games and other applications are able to read them as well. So what do we need to make our golden apple recipe exactly? Well, first um, we'll start by typing open and close braces. And then to make things easier, I'm going to save the file right now. Um, so I just press save and then as you can see we're in my data pack so you go into data and then in the previous episode I named this folder the same thing as the data pack however you actually cannot do that so I changed the name of this folder to custom stuff and then in here we actually need another folder called recipes and in this recipes folder is basically Anything that you create, any recipe you create for the game, so crafting shaped, shapeless recipes, furnace recipes, things like that, any of those are saved into this folder. And so to create our golden apple recipe, let's just call it goldenapple.json. And as you can see, um, it's now, these braces are now highlighted, they're a little different. That's because Notepad++ has syntax highlighting and it just makes it easier to work with um, writing small files like this and it makes it really nice to work with so we're gonna start by saying type crafting shapeless and what this line does is it sets the type of recipe to crafting shapeless so the game knows that it's a shapeless crafting recipe you want to put a comma and then you need to specify what ingredients the recipe uses 
So ingredients, and then this needs to be a list of things. So we put it in between two brackets. And inside these brackets, we do braces. And inside these braces, we type item Minecraft apple. So what this is, is it's an entry in this ingredients list. And this entry is just an item. Uh, it's Minecraft apple to be specific. So this says that one of the ingredients for our recipe is an apple. And then to add another ingredient, you just do another entry and then say item Minecraft gold ingot. So what this entry is, is it's just saying that the another ingredient in the recipe is a gold ingot. So to create our item, we're going to just use a golden apple and a gold ingot. Sorry, not a golden apple, just a regular apple. Okay, and then after the ingredients, you put a comma and you say result. And this result is basically just what the outcome of this crafting recipe is. So we'll say item to specify what item we get out of this recipe. So Minecraft golden apple. And then we also need to specify the number that we get from this crafting recipe. And so I just said that we get one gold apple for this. So we're just going to save that and head back over to the game. All right, so now that we've finished our recipe and we have it all saved, we want to actually reload the data pack uh, so all of our changes take effect. The way you do this is by using the command slash reload. And what that does is it just reloads all the data packs in the current world. So um, if you have a bunch of data packs in the world, or if you have a particularly large data pack, it can take a second or two, but it's not unbearably long, so sometimes you just got to be a little patient. Uh, anyway, now that we reloaded our data pack, we should be able to use our shapeless golden apple recipe, and that can be seen it's working. So when we put in an apple and a gold ingot, it gives us a golden apple. It doesn't matter where that gold ingot is or where the apple is. Um, you can put it anywhere in the crafting grid and it just produces a golden apple. And this is a golden apple, it works. And when you actually use the recipe, it is added to, so as you can see, this recipe is just an apple and a gold ingot versus gold. And the other recipe seems to have disappeared. And that's probably because it's been overwritten. But anyways, um, that's how you create a shapeless recipe. Uh, moving on, we'll, I'll show you how to make a shaped recipe. So So that's how you make um, shapeless recipes. But what if you want to make a shaped recipe? Uh, if you didn't already know, enchanted golden apples can't be crafted. This has been a change. This was changed back in Minecraft 1.9. Um, but say we want to revert that and want to make enchanted golden apples craftable again. And we want it to be exactly like this. Well, to do that, we're going to want to create a shaped recipe for Enchanted Golden Apples. And I'll show you how to do that by heading over to Notepad++. So over in Notepad++, we want to create a new file. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did before with saving the... Um, shapeless thing so I'm just gonna do the braces and tab in and save and we're gonna call this enchanted golden apple dot Jason and once again we have the highlighting 
and same as before you just say type and crafting shaped so in s as you can probably assume uh, crafting the way you tell the game what type of recipe it is is by saying some in for the type you just change either crafting shaped crafting shapeless uh, I believe one of them is furnace um, so that's just how you specify the type and then different from the shapeless recipe for a shaped recipe you have to specify a pattern and what that is is it's just a list of strings and that can be done by doing something like this and for this pattern we need to use symbols or letters to specify what things are so let's just say let's just make gold blocks lowercase g's so this top line is the top row of the crafting grid the middle line is the middle row and so on it's all respective to how it would look in a crafting grid and if you want to do something like uh, using the crafting grid in your inventory you would just do two strings that are two characters long so you just do like one two here just these four right up in the corner um, and you would just make this like blank here or something so that's our pattern but the game doesn't know what those letters are to it it's just an arbitrary thing and for that it needs a key and what this key does is it just specifies what each symbol is and this is a compound element so um we want to say that g is just saying that it's item minecraft and if you give me a second i actually have to check what the name of the item is so It is just gold block. Okay. So I'm going to go back out of that and go back into here. So it's Minecraft gold block. All right. And then for A, we're just going to say that A is item Minecraft apple. So that's all we need in our key because we only use lowercase g and a lowercase a. So now the game is understands that it wants three gold blocks across the top and three across the bottom and then block apple block so after the key you just want to do another result tag much how it was done in the shapeless and you just say item minecraft enchanted golden apple and again, you want to specify count. And we're going to keep this how the original crafting recipe was. And we're going to just make it give you one apple. So we're going to save that and head back over to the game. Okay, so now we're back in the game. And if we try to use our recipe, it doesn't work. And that's because, if you remember, every time you make a change to your data pack, you have to reload. So I reload the data pack, and now if we do this, it gives us an enchanted gold apple. So, and see, anytime you use a new recipe, it'll unlock up here in the corner. It'll show you that. And so this is an enchanted golden apple, as you can tell by the enchantment effect. And if I eat it, it gives me all the effects that a god apple or notch apple, whatever you want to call it, it gives all of those effects um, as opposed to the regular golden apple. So that is how you create a shaped crafting recipe. And it's pretty simple. You just have to make sure that you're using the proper tags when creating a shapeless and a shaped recipe. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, welcome to the end of the video. Uh, thank you guys for making it to the end. Um, I hope I was able to help you in some way. 
If you need help on getting started with creating a data pack, please check out my previous episode where I cover exactly how to do that. Um, in the next episode of this tutorial series, I'll be going over how to make um, custom furnace recipes. Um, and I'll touch up on how to do that for the new blast furnace and the new smoker that was introduced in 114. Um, please consider leaving a comment and giving me feedback or giving future ideas. Um, leave a like or dislike. It doesn't really matter to me. It just gives me more feedback on what you guys think of the video and what I should be doing in the future. And uh, don't forget to have a great day.